So how do you crop an image in Python with OpenCV? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Um, in this video, we basically have this setup where we're taking our thumbnail here that we've used in previous videos, and we're gonna crop this thumbnail and basically just crop out my face. And the setup for that is really simple. We're going to uh, take the image path of that image. We're gonna read it in, make an image object. And from previous videos, I showed you kind of like how different ways that you can find a bounding box. Um, or you can get one. And so for this one, we found out with using OpenCV select tool, we were able to get essentially um, the X, Y position and then the width and height of um, my face on that, on that thumbnail. And then if we run this right now, we essentially just get um, the program that pops this up and now we just need to add the pieces that cuts out my face to give us that, um, or to crop out my face and give us kind of the region that we're looking for. So without further ado, let's hop right and start coding. So cropping an image with OpenCV in Python is actually really simple due to the image or due to slicing essentially, um, that we can also not only do with like people have seen with, like I've showed with lists, but you can also do that with images. And to show that essentially, um, you know that a cropped image is essentially made up of, um, like, like we had here, we had our bounding box information, um, and it's made up of an upper left point and a bottom right point. And if we know that information, we can utilize slicing through our image object right here to create our, you know, our region of interest, which is typically, is what it's typically referred to as. Um, so let's go ahead and let's create our points That's that we need. So the first off, we need our X and Y point, or two X and Y points. So, so if I say top left, um, left is going to be, and we know that's gonna be our X and Y, um, based off of the previous video that I did, um, where I showed you like this information right here was gathered using that select tool, which kind of goes off of that top or that, off that top left. And then when we drag it down to that bottom bottom right, it then tells us, hey, you started at this point and then you went this width and then this height. So that's what we're using to create these two points. So there's our top left. Now our bottom right is going to be equal to X, plus W and then Y plus H. And then that's our two points that we need. All right, so now that we have these two points, we can now leverage the technique of slicing. So if you're familiar with uh, slicing with lists, you know that um, oftentimes you can take your object or your list and then you can do the, the brackets and then do a colon and then whatever you put at the front of this, it'll you know go you know start from there and then go up to an index, right? But we have to realize here that we're dealing with objects that are essentially um, at least 2D. So what does that mean? Well, that means that they usually have another comma um, and then they have another part that you can list through. In our case, um, OpenCV, which is really important to note, is that they go by Y first in this part and then they go by X. Um, some may or may not, but they some may go by X and then Y. OpenCV is always kind of height then with. Um, and so when you're dealing with, you, you wanna know that anything I put here in the this first you know slicing section is gonna deal with everything in your height part or and then in this last section is gonna do everything with your width part, right? So if I were to go and just do this exact same I am show and to kind of prove my point, I can say if I do these exact same thing, ROI, um, the, this should basically equal this because I'm basically telling this go from start to end on the Y and go from start to end on the X. And so if I re, if I run the program, what you'll see is we'll get our tests, our test one, which is basically our original image. And then I hit a key on my keyboard and it, now you see the ROI one. And that is basically the exact same thing, the exact same size and everything It's because this syntax here is the same for an image saying is the same as if you just had the very, you know, had like we did here where we read in the object into the this variable, like using slicing, that's the same. So now that we have the information that we can leverage this um, to create our ROI or our region of interest or our cropped image. Um, so I can say our cropped image is going to equal to, and I'm gonna take the original image, I'm gonna do some slicing. And so now we need to go with the the Y's first, right? And so we know that that bounding box for what we said is going to be equal to the Y of our top left corner all the way up to the Y of our bottom right. So I can go and do something like uh, top left and I can say one at the index of one because um, that's gonna give me that all the way colon to my bottom right of the index of one, right? Because that's where our Y's are at. Now I do a comma and now I'm dealing with the X's. So if I'm dealing with the X's, I'm gonna say the top left corner and I'm gonna say of zero. And then I'm gonna say all the way, I'm gonna use the slicing to the bottom right of our, um, of zero because that's where our X values are, right? So what this is doing is saying going from X all the way up to X plus W and then going and then, or excuse me, this right here is Y or Y value all the way up to Y plus H. And then right here is X slide or with the colon all the way up to X plus W. So that's our cropped 
image. Now, if I were to run this and put this in, now I'm going to show the original. And when this program runs, it should run the original image first. And then I have to hit a key. And when I hit a key, it should pop up that cropped image of our of the face right uh, in that in that thumbnail. So go ahead and run this. There is our original image that we had. And if I hit a key on my keyboard, boom, just like that, there is the ROI or the cropped image of my face, um, which probably would sit somewhere along those lines. Um, so just like that, that is how you can crop an image using slicing. Essentially, just get, find your, your top. Um, the algorithm's kind of, kind of simple. Find the top left corner, find the bottom right corner, and then from there, leverage image slicing to get your cropped image of that section of, uh, in the image that you want to crop. So. If that provided value, please hit that like button. If you have any questions more concerning this, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any additional questions about any other que uh, any other programming things or um, basics or whatever that you're looking um, to have answered, I do have a Google form that should be linked down in the description below where you can fill that out with your specific question, which helps me understand kind of the content and the things that you guys are looking for. Um, and then I'll go ahead and try and make specific videos related to that. So um, if you have any questions, please fill that out. Otherwise, also leave them in the comments. Um, and until next time, Keep on programming.